Every one of you out there has tried to kill me for the last for the last 25 years and I'm still here. Ha ha ha. Now what? Ha ha ha. Now what? Ha ha ha. Now what? When I stand on the mountain and I say do it, it gets done. If it don't get done, then I'll move on it. And that's the last thing in the world that's you want me to do. What do you want to call me a murderer for? I've never killed anyone. I don't need to kill anyone. I think it. I have it here. I have it here. I, I don't need to live in this physical realm. I walk around in the physical realm and I put on the faces and I talk and I play and hang yeah. It's this big act, man. In the spiritual world is where I live. I exist in places you never even dreamed of. who led the Manson family California commune in the 1960s was found guilty of first-degree murder and conspiracy to commit murder for the death of seven people. He was sent to Corcoran State Prison in 1971. One officer summed up the murders when he said, in all my years, I have never seen anything like this before. I lived in Hollywood and I had all that. The Rolls Royce and the Ferrari and the pad in Beverly Hills. I had the surfboard and the Beach Boys and the Beach Keys and the Neil Diamond and the Rob Scott and the Jimmy Griffin and the Elvis Presleys and the Besleys and all them guys. The Dina Martins and the Nancy Sinatras and the, and the Gatsha Safran. Will you do it to me? I hear you do it good, honey, and all that kind of, will you come up to my house later? So I went through all that and I seen that was a bigger prison than the one I just got out of and I really didn't care to go back to prison. See, prison doesn't begin and end at the gate. Prison is in the mind. It's locked in one world that's dead and dying, or it's open to a world that's free and alive. It's free and alive. Drugs, LSD, I don't consider a drug. I don't consider poverty a drug. Those are more or less religiously significant awareness, mind-expanding apparatuses that come from the intelligence of the world. His followers and the murders they carried out fascinated a generation of Americans and captured headlines for decades. A wandering band of members of a so-called religious cult with a leader they called Jesus. The reason that the girls liked me was, Hey now, hey now, I'm all around you, round you. Hey now, up on your heart I can sing through you. And I play and I sing and they say, hey man, you, you got, you got soul in that music. And I said, yeah, I, I play a little bit, you know. I like it. And they said, man, you're really somebody. I said, oh, I am? Oh, I just got out of jail. I don't know what somebody is. In the late 60s, Manson ordering his followers to the Los Angeles mansion of actress and model Sharon Tate. Four of his followers going on a killing spree aimed at igniting an apocalyptic race war that the deranged leader Manson dubbed Helter Skelter after a Beatles song. They like my music. They say, man, we want to get you over. I said, get me over for what? He said, we take you down here to Beverly Hills and we want to get you in because you're a star. I said, I'm a what? They said, you're a star. So they took me to the Beach Boys and I went and I got on a surfboard and I rode around and I looked and I said, gee, where the chingasos? This is more, this is more trouble than what I just got out of. You got nine, nine, look at yourself. You got to wear that whether you like it or not. You got to do things. You got to get up and go through all kinds of changes. Whether you want to or not doesn't matter. Your whole life is put in your paycheck. I don't. You couldn't pay me all the money in the world to do something I don't want to do. I don't need to live in this physical realm. I walk around in the physical realm and I put on the faces and I talk and I play and hang yeah. It's this big act, man. In the spiritual world is where I live. I exist in places you never even dreamed of. You talk about, you know, this little physical realm you live in, guilty and is he in sin? How's your courts guilty? How's How many people guilty? do you think you've hung How on the ventilators in the nut cords and forced medication on them? You see what I'm saying? You don't have any idea what the hell's going on. If you knew what the hell was going on in your own system, then you'd say, I, now I see what's creating this. Society's creating it. Society's saying, we want these Rambos. We want these killers. 
I mean, you got all your kids out here doing these crazy things. Now you want to come and say, Charlie Manson's the father of our country. We're convicting you for being Jesus Christ. We're convicting you for being the devil. We're convicting you for being responsible for our actions. I'm not responsible for anyone's actions, but my own actions. I did not break the law. Jesus Christ told you that 2,000 years ago. You don't understand me. That's your trouble. Not my fault because you don't understand me. I don't understand you either. But I don't spend my whole life trying to put the blame over on you because my cigarette didn't light or because something didn't work right. What do you want to call me a murderer for? I've never killed anyone. I don't need to kill anyone. I don't need to kill anyone. I think it. I have it here. I have it here. I have it here. My whole life I burglarized the grocery store, stole some nickels and dimes, busted open a stamp machine, stole a few automobiles, and cashed a couple checks. I'm a petty con. I've uh, been with prostitutes and bums and winos and all my life. Uh, the street is my world. I don't. Uh, I don't pretend to go uptown and be anything fancy. I can, but I find more real in the world that I'm in than I do the tinsel. And the real world is the one I have to deal with every day. Uh, believe me, if I started murdering people, there'd be none of it now. Faces and I talk and I play and I yeah, it's this big act, man. Is Charlie Manson crazy? Or whatever that means. Sure, he's crazy as mad as a hatter. What difference does it make? You know, a long time ago being crazy meant something. Nowadays everybody's crazy. Everybody's crazy. Well, God, I guess you're my best friend, being I invented you. Sure, think myself. Think I win that. <laughs> Which Jesus? There's all kinds of Jesus. There's a black Jesus down in Florida. He's having a good time. There's a Mexican Jesus in Mexico. I mean, there's all kinds of Jewish Jesus. I mean, Jesus, you know. There's all kinds of Jesus coming back everywhere. And nothing can stop it. It's a consciousness that lives in your mind. Do you feel blame? Are you mad? Uh, do you feel like wolves and kebabs right from that? Get fresh, boots, 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 bo when am I going to run around and act like I'm some teeny bop or somewhere for somebody else's money? I make the money, man. I, make the I money. roll the nickels. I make the, I roll the, the game money. is mine. The game is mine. I deal the car. I deal the car. I'm a box car and a jug of wine. And a straight racer, if you get too close to me. If you get too close to me. The mine is endless. You put me in a dark, solitary cell. And to you, that's the end. <laughs> it's the beginning. It's the universe in there. It's the universe in there. There's a world in there. There's a world in there. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free.